This videotape will show you the proper procedures for dismounting and mounting a grinding wheel on the pedestal grinder. This tape will also show you some of the safety precautions required when setting up and using the pedestal grinder. The pedestal grinder is a basic tool used for semi-precision sharpening of tools held by hand. These operations are sometimes referred to as off-hand grinding. After viewing this tape, you will be able to write down the safety precautions to observe in using the pedestal grinder and write down the steps for dismounting and mounting wheels on the pedestal grinder. Some of the safety precautions to observe in using the pedestal grinder are always wear safety glasses with side shields. When safety glasses with side shields are not available, wear a face shield. Always remove rings, watches, and jewelry as they may get caught in the grinder. Be sure that all guards and tool rests are in place. Never use rags to hold tools or parts that you are grinding. It is also not advisable to wear gloves when using the pedestal grinder. Stand to one side when starting the grinding wheel. Only grind on the face of the wheel, never on the side. Do not grind non-ferrous metals, such as aluminum, brass, or copper on the grinding wheel, as these tend to clog or glaze the wheel. And always stop the wheel before making adjustments on the spark guard and tool rest. The first step in dismounting the grinding wheel is to disconnect the electrical power to the pedestal grinder. Move the eye shield out of the way. Raise the spark guard away from the wheel. Remove the tool rest from the grinder. Then remove the guard over the end of the wheel. You are now ready to remove the end nut on the spindle may be necessary to use a block of wood to hold the wheel for loosening the nuts. Notice that the end nut is a left-hand thread. This design ensures that the rotation of the wheel will tighten the nuts when the grinder is in operation. When the nut has been loosened, you can then finish removing it by hand. Slide the old wheel and flanges off the spindle. Clean the spindle with a rag and remove any grinding grit buildup from inside the guards. Select a grinding wheel to be mounted on the end of the spindle. Make sure that the maximum safe operating RPM of the wheel is suited to the machine. It is a general practice to mount a coarse wheel on the left-hand side of the grinder and a fine wheel on the right-hand side of a grinder. A coarse wheel has a larger grit and a more open surface, and a fine wheel has a smaller grit and a denser structure. Before mounting the grinding wheel, you should check it for cracks. To do this, hold the wheel on your finger and tap it gently with the handle of a screwdriver. A ringing sound will indicate that the wheel is sound and has no cracks. If the wheel does not ring, or if you hear a dull thud, the wheel probably has cracks and should not be used. To mount the wheel, place a flange on the spindle. Then, place a blotter against the flange. Some wheels come with a blotter already attached to the wheel. Blotters have two purposes. The grinding wheel surface is uneven, and the blotter gives a soft cushion between the wheel and the flange. And the blotter also makes for a better friction drive between the flange and the wheel. Now place the wheel on the spindle. 
Then place the second blotter on the spindle if it is not attached to the wheel. Place the second flange on the outside of the wheel. The next step is to place the nut on the spindle and tighten it finger tight. Remember, the nut has left hand threads, so it will tighten against the direction which the wheel is rotating. This makes the nut tighten as the wheel turns. Now, gently tighten the nut with a wrench. Do not over tighten, since this may crack the wheel. Replace the end guard. Adjust the work rest to within 1 16th to 1 8th inch from the wheel. Adjust the spark guard. And move the eye shield into place. Connect the electrical power to the grinder. The grinding wheel should be dressed or trued before using. While standing to one side of the grinder, turn it on. Hold the wheel dresser securely on the tool rest. Using a slight pressure, move the dresser across the face of the wheel from side to side. This will give a flat surface to the face of the wheel and also make the diameter of the wheel concentric. When the wheel runs concentric and the face of the wheel is flat, the grinder is ready for use. You have just seen the dismounting and mounting of a coarse wheel on the grinder. Use the same procedure for the fine wheel on the opposite end of the grinder. Common offhand grinding operations performed on the pedestal grinder are the sharpening and forming of tool bits, the sharpening of chisels, and the sharpening of drill bits. To review this videotape, you should now be able to write down the safety procedures for using the pedestal grinder. And you should also be able to write down the steps for dismounting and mounting wheels on the pedestal grinder. You should now be more familiar with the proper procedures for dismounting and mounting wheels on the pedestal grinder for use in off-hand sharpening of hand tools.